What's up guys? Welcome back to another tips and tricks video on the school zone. So about a month ago, I posted a video on how to get your hands on the spray and pray and the overseer's guardian. They were kind of both in the same location, so I just put them into the same video for you and called it a two for one. And it did pretty well. So a couple weeks later, I did another video on how to get your hands on the Justice Shotgun and Le Fusi Terrible. Both of those were shotguns, so they kind of formed a little bit of a theme. So I put them into the same video and also called it a two for one. Did pretty well. So I'm back at you with another two for one Fallout 4 Legendary Weapon Locations Guide. These two weapons though are completely unrelated. The first one's called the Gainer and the second one's called the Broadsider. So I guess they both end in ER, so <laughs> that's about as close as they come, but uh, I figured I'd stick with the theme, put them in the same video, call it a twofer. So hope you guys enjoy this. What I was doing was, oh, let's take care of a problem real quick. Just a little bloat fly. That's Commonwealth justice for you. Okay, no problem. So, speaking of which, I got called to the Finch Farm to defend it against some raiders. You know, you get those settlement uh, under attack, little radiant quests sometimes. And so I ran out here and I realized I had really neglected this place. I'm not going to do anything with it, but at least I could do is put up a little turret. So I put a little turret up on the roof there, took the stairs down. Oh, no, actually, they're back here. Yep, stairs are back here. So I put up a little turret, and while I was up here, I noticed there was a door over there. And I was like, where does that go? I haven't been there yet. I've been to that place there. That's the Saugus Ironworks. And I've been to that place over there. That's the Hub City Auto Wreckers, but I hadn't been to that place. So I said, hey, let's uh, go check it out. So I quick saved which I just now reverted back to so I could show you guys. And we're going to head over there and get our first of the two unique legendary weapons called the Gainer. So let me show you on the map where we are. We are here at Finch Farm. If you haven't been here yet, it's over here on the east side of town. You know, here's uh, Vault 111, all that stuff. It's way over here, Finch Farm. It's one of the settlements that you can get. It's an okay settlement. I don't know. Maybe some people could do something with it. it looks like you might even be able to build up to that uh, that highway up there. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, is that uh, I saw that door and I said, hey, let's go for it. Now, if you want to avoid the radiation, you can throw on a hazmat suit. And if you don't have a hazmat suit yet, then definitely check out my how to get the luck bobblehead video. I explain on a couple of places where you can get your hands on a hazmat suit to prevent radiation because you do have to swim over to Spectacle Island to get that. So check out that video if you wanna know how to get a hazmat suit. In this case, I'm just gonna swim as fast as I can over there and not worry about the rads just to keep the video moving. So you ready, Kate? Let's do some swimming and uh, get to the other side here. Not too shabby, okay. So the next thing you're going to do is head into this little place here. I think the formal name of it is the Vitali Pump House. Brain fungus. I actually talked about brain fungus in my mole rat den episode. If you guys want to know what that's all about, then check out that video. My heart, my treasure, my love, all for you. Oh, that was so nice of you, Kate. <laughs> okay. So you can loot this stuff over here and then head into the pump house. All right, so this place is unattended. I don't know why I'm sneaking now that I'm inside. But uh, yeah, just some minor loot and stuff. Nothing really to be seen, but the gainer is through this door, which is inaccessible. Busted. So, how to get in. Well, you have these buttons here, and you don't know the code for them, but if you're observant enough, you will see these numbers written very largely on the wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter those numbers in. They don't have to be entered in in the order, because I'm going to show you what you got to do with the zero. So we'll start with the last one. One. Okay. Next one from the right is five. One. 
two, three, four, five. Next one over is four. One, two, three, four. Got to be careful with these numbers, otherwise you got to start all over again. Okay, now, when we press the first one here for zero, there is no zero. So instead, what you got to do is you got to go all the way up to 10. And the door automatically opens. And then sitting right next to this very red and bloody skeleton is the gainer. There we go. All right, well, as you'll notice, it sets targets on fire. So maybe that's why he's red. He offed himself and went up in flames or something like that. But anyway, this is a really fun gun because uh, yeah, it sets targets on fire. It does a lot of damage. Now, some of that damage that you see on the left there is because some of the perks that I have. So you may see a different number, but the number that you see is before it's even modded out. You can mod it out pretty heavily and it'll be a pretty significant gun. It's got uh, six shots and they shoot pretty fast. Unfortunately, you have to reload in between those six shots, but it's definitely worth it. So uh, let's grab the rest of this loot out of here and then go up and uh, see how it works. Just to show you guys how you can set people on fire. <laughs> cool. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's get out the gun. And we shall equip it from right there. Take it out. Oh, look at that, he spins it around. And this little location right here, this junkyard is full of uh, raiders who will make easy targets. <laughs> to show you guys how it looks. I'm just gonna shoot a few. Oh, they're shooting at something. What are they shooting at? Oh, they're shooting at some caravanners. Oh, we can't have that. So, let's go to town. Person's on fire now. Okay. It's definitely not the fastest gun. Okay. Now that time was loading the gun again. It's the only disadvantage, but it is a powerful gun. Let's go ahead and uh, take a few more out. Nice. Okay. So as you can see, it sets them on fire. Oh, there's the guy with the uh, plasma gun. Okay, and then for the next gun I'm gonna show you called the Broadsider, it's not quite as easy to get as the uh, the Gainer. It involves a pretty complicated quest called The Last Voyage of the USS Constitution. I did a whole series on that quest you guys will definitely have to check out. It's a whole lot of fun. And if you complete the quest and you side with Ironsides, at the end of it, he gives you the Broadsider. I'll show you guys some quick clips from it, but if you want to get the full experience, then check out the whole series. I'll leave a link to part one in the iCard above in the description below. And we'll meet back here, I'll pull out the Broadsider and then we'll go see if there's any forged up here that we can take out and I can show you how that whole thing works. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Hostile <laughs> Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. 
Here is your amply deserved reward. God speed to you, sir. Okay, so as you can see, got the broadsider in my inventory. I got a few cannonballs to use. So uh, let's pull this bad boy out and see what kind of damage we can do with it. Just to show you guys how it works. It's not a gun I'd use for my master stealth assassin, but uh, it's still a really fun weapon. All right, here we go. In fact, let's go ahead and see if we can take this guy's head off. Holy! That was insane in the membrane! This thing's got really good range, too. So, let's just take this guy out. Kaboom! Oh, that was just too cool. Well, I know you're here. I'll find you. Let's get up really close and just blast this guy right in the torso. All right, well, I could keep going blasting these guys all day. That was just too much fun. But I just wanted to show you guys how to get your hands on these two very pyrotechnic weapons. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's the common thread between them. <laughs> they both either explode things or set them on fire. So there you go. Anyway, well, I hope this helped you guys out. Make sure you throw a like on the video and share it around. Check out some more of my Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos in the Game Tutor playlist. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on The Schooled Zone. Peace.